here in Luke chapter 15, verse 22. So, but the father said to his servants, quick, say quick. Bring the best robe. Put it on him. Put a ring and his finger and sandals on his feet. Let's just quickly discover those three things. Why robe? Bakit robe yung nauna? Bakit hindi ring? Bakit hindi sandals? What I have in mind is the breastplate of righteousness. Obviously, robe is an apparel. It is something that we were. Jacob has 12 sons and his favorite is Joseph. And he gave him a very colorful robe that distinguishes him from the others because he is highly favored and deeply loved and greatly blessed by Jacob. And today we can equate that, that God gave the son of him a robe to be protected so that he will not be condemned and accused by his brother so much so with his servants para yung robe na to, hey, he still belongs to me, he's part of the family. This is how God treated us because all the punishment and the mad and the anger and the things that upsets God, God will never be mad at us again because Jesus consumed it all at the cross when he said, Tetelestai, it is finished. When he declared, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. God can never, never be mad at us. He can be sad whenever we do stupid things, but never mad at us because the Father is satisfied with the sacrifice of Jesus. And those who are in Christ not only are saved, they are eternally forgiven. So robe is a sign of protection. It's a restoration of innocence. Yes, my son did a lot of stupid things that he should not be doing just like you and me. But my relationship to him is not dependent on his love or his performance. It is dependent on my love for him. Once you are only focused on his love, God will always guide you to your North Star. He will lead you always to the right place at the right time. What is good about God is you'll be surprised. When you come, even of your own mistakes, He will help you, He'll guide you, He'll protect you. And the good thing is, hindi ka niya susumbatan. You know, this son, he came, he did not even say, Oh, you, a squanderer, oh, you, a self-centered son. No, he just lovingly embraced him. At our worst, his love never fails. Ikalawa, binigay po niya yung ring. You know, when Mordecai is about to be hung by the king because of the wrong accusation of Haman in the book of Esther, so that he will be restored to power and protection, he gave ring to Mordecai. You know, when Joseph, after from prison, when he uh, interpreted Pharaoh's dream, you know what Pharaoh gave? He gave him a ring. Next to Pharaoh, is the most powerful person in the whole of Egypt and Egypt at that time is like United States of America it's the most powerful nation during that time and God gave us that ring that ring of authority anumang binigay ng Diyos hindi niya ito babawiin anumang binigay ng Diyos na hindi binigay ng mundo walang kakayanan ng mundo na kunin ito Kapag ang Diyos ang nagbigay, walang pwedeng makapag-alis nito. Because God is so generous, God. Did He just remove His authority as a son? No. He even killed the fat and calf. Not even a slightest inference of He is rejected was conveyed to this story. He is unconditionally loved and accepted. And today, this is your cutting edge whenever you know this. Whatever challenges you are facing in this world, because you are sons and daughters, that's your greatest title. The Bible says He gave us the spirit of sonship and He delivered us from the spirit of fear and slavery. That's what Galatians chapter 6 and 7 says. That's what Romans chapter 8 declares. The spirit of fear has been removed to us because He removed that spirit of slavery in us and He put the sonship in us so that we will not be slave again to fear. Whatever age you are right now, 
This new creation in us is not subject to time. There is always a child in you. Have you noticed in the Bible, he did not address us as aunties and titos or mothers or fathers. There's only one title that the Lord gave to us, that we are all children of God, regardless of our age. Because that inside of us is ageless. It's a new creation. It is not subject to this time. I might be 80 years from now, 90 this new creation, this new spirit to me is ageless. You are ageless like Christ. Amen. And once you believe that it will resonate inside of you, I don't care if you're 94, listen to me right now. You are ageless. The child in you is always new. And sandals. Ano yung sandals? Pag nagtatrabaho yung mga alipin, they're walking with their bare feet. So, this distinguishes the son from the servants. Yes, you can work, but you're not servant. But today, he's telling you, even if you will not work, you're still blessed. Because you know why? He said to his eldest son, you don't need to ask. Whatever I have is all yours. I'm always with you. Some of you don't still get it. You keep on asking something that is already inside you. Faith is not twisting God's hand for you to receive something you need. Faith is believing whatever God gave you already put it inside your heart. That's why we live by faith and not by sight. So if you're sick today, believe you are already healed. If you are poor, believe you are already rich. Knowing who you are in Christ, it's a game changer.